the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw Morning guys and welcome to what day are we now? Vlogmas day twenty two. Yeah, I think it's day twenty two. So I think the last thing you'd have seen is me going to bed last night and now you'll see me waking up this morning. I decided to take the bonnet off because I was like, you can't see that last night and see that again this morning. So praise my efforts, please. <laughs> so today, um, I have, so tomorrow, I'm checking into a hotel for my birthday, well, leading into my birthday night with my partner. So I'm going to do a little pack in a like in a little carry-on suitcase just for one night, nothing too extravagant but gonna do a little pack because we're going out to eat so i'm gonna pack a dress pack my outfit do all of that today also for a holiday main holiday which i'm leaving on the 26th don't know if i said but i need to wash my makeup brushes i need to get some locks i forgot to do that yesterday although i'm not gonna go on the road today to get the locks because i'm gonna get my pcr done tomorrow at blue water which is the 23rd so when i go there to do that i'll pick them up then um, a parcel that I ordered from my mum came last night, so I need to wrap that. So basically, I wasn't going to get her a present, I was just going to get her money. But I feel like with Christmas, you just need to unwrap something. So I got her a present instead. Well, I ordered, or, I already ordered a one, but I ordered an additional one. So um, that came last night, so I'm just going to wrap that. And yeah, today's pretty much going to be nice and relaxed. Um... My plan isn't to go anywhere, but I don't know. As the day progress, we'll see. And I want to do some unboxing today as well because I've bought myself quite a few gifts. And this gift I've been dying to open because I've wanted it for so long. And I bought it when I went to Paris, on my Paris vlog. So it's been a couple of months and I haven't opened it, not even a peek. So we're going to have to do that today because I need to start using it ASAP because I think that's that's perseverance to buy something from October and it's December. You haven't even looked at it. Um, yeah, that's dedication right there. So today is pretty much, that's what today is going to entail. Uh, entailed. That's what today is going to entail. So yeah, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later, I think. Um, I'm going to wash my makeup brushes now. And then I'll pack the suitcase after. And then I'll go as the day goes. To be fair, I probably should go back and have a nap. Because it's like 5 something in the morning. So um, I have a long day ahead of me. So I'll wash my makeup brushes now. Because I'm up. I might pack later. I might pack later once I'm like more up. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> Celebration. Said I wanted cake for breakfast. I'm not gonna have all of that ice made by the way. I usually just peel it off. Okay. 
cake is still here and we're gonna have cake for breakfast hey guys so it's a bit later in the afternoon and i'm just gonna catch you up with the day i wasn't really feeling like vlogging today i was just a bit tired um because literally i've been out every day for the past what four days um today is the only day i actually haven't left my house and it feels so good <laughs> don't get me wrong i love going out i love getting bits and bobs um like meeting up with friends but sometimes i like to be at home as well so um because i'm gonna go out tomorrow and i'll be going out on christmas eve as well and potentially christmas day and then i'm leaving on boxing day so it was really good just to have a day at home um basically i just did my washing um tidied up my room a little bit did um i was gonna bring a suitcase for tomorrow but i decided to bring like a carrier bag instead because it's only one night i don't need that much stuff and i packed that so i'm prepared for tomorrow and that's it so at the moment i'm drinking some sorrel i put it in a tropical rhythm bottle on my jamaicans you know is a season guys sorrel is so good So basically what it is is a fruit that you kind of boil to to get it's like you know beetroot how red beetroot is when you mix it with anything everything goes red it's kind of like sorrel but you need to boil it very dry normally when you boil it you mix it you sweeten it you put alcohol in it sorrel is just amazing so anyone who's not familiar get familiar this is the season so the reason i'm coming to you guys so late in the afternoon because i actually have an unboxing for you guys i'm super super excited i've got these two items when i was in paris i've been saving for all year um mainly one more than the other the other was a ra not random i knew i wanted it but i didn't expect them to have it so i went for one item but i ended up getting two but i went for the one item so um i bought it from october and i've not actually touched it or looked at either of them since and it's just crazy i've wanted what this specific item more than the other but i'm glad i got both i've been wanting the one specific item for a very long time and i can't believe i actually pulled the bullet but anyway we're gonna start off with the item that i didn't no, I wanted until they had it. Like, I knew I wanted it, but I didn't expect them to have it. So, um, yeah, because I've been wanting that for a while too, but I just never expected to find it. So, I was very surprised that I did. So, um, because of travel purposes, as I said, I got this in Paris. I didn't get a box with this item because I had a lot of stuff to bring back. Um, RIP to my suitcase for that trip. But yeah, I had a lot of um, stuff to bring back and I just couldn't, there was no space. So. So, if you guys don't know, it comes as item from Chanel, and it's, it's a pair of shoes. So, I've been wanting these shoes for the longest time, um, but like, I don't know if it's new season, old season, or what, but they just never seem to have it. And then when I went into the store, I said, oh, I'm looking for this too. Because obviously I went for that one item. And when I said, oh, do you have this too? And they said, yes. I was like, it's fake. It's meant to be. So. The shoes I went for. Just looking at the detail again. Is this ankle boot from Chanel now I really really since I've seen this shoes I've always wanted it but I thought the price was a bit ridiculous for boots but then I was like I kept seeing it I kept wanting it and I've just always wanted it and I'm just like Shan you only live once I'm not saying buy the whole world but if you really really like something just save up and get it because you're gonna buy other things in substitute of this when you really want this so just save up and buy it so this is the shoes that from chanel boots ankle boots i've always wanted the exact everything i love like the chanel 19 detail on the ankle here i love 
the 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 detail around the buttons not button the detail around the laces here everything it has like a little chanel stamp on the toe um completely brand new haven't worn it literally literally it's been in the bags since october and i haven't even this is like my this is like my second time seeing it from trying it on in store and it's absolutely gorgeous i love it so much and this is the other foot um i know this is like the generic um chanel shoes and a lot of people like their other shoes and whatever thinking i'm not fond of chanel shoes per se um i i'd love to own one of their trainers one day but i'm not really in a rush for that because i have my own trainer set um i have my own trainer selection which i love and i wear and i'm happy with that at the moment so i'm not interested in anything new unless they drop a new air one for that i'm in love with then you know we can grow it some more but for now um the boots was definitely something i wanted to add to my collection and i cannot wait to wear this next year um as i'm traveling and i won't be back until next year so to be fair i could wear it tomorrow but um i'm excited i'm excited i just can't wait i can't wait well i'm very happy to have this in now my boots collection so we're growing a little bit to be fair since my boot collection i've donated two of my boots and i'm potentially going to donate some more because i feel like anything that i'm not really wearing i should give away so I try to purge as well. I don't just keep buying more stuff and more stuff. I try to give away, donate, sell. Um, and these boots I've had for a very long time, so I didn't want to sell them. Just donate it to charity. I was happy with that. Um, so, yeah. These are the first item, unboxing item. And I'm super, super happy with them. So let's go on to the main kahuna okay guys and the next item is something i wanted for a very long time but i kept putting it off because again the price um but after falling in love with the chanel 19 and getting that for myself last year i decided that i really want this bag as well so if i can get that if i can save up because my birthday is obviously december so if i can save up till the end of the year and treat myself to these things it probably won't feel so expensive just going in and getting it outright so my plan moving forward which is what i've been doing for the past two years is all the bags that i really really want that's been on my wish list for ages well some of them i'll probably have to save up more than one year for them but um if it's something that i really want i just keep saving so that's what i've done with this bag and i tried to find any way that i could get it even a little bit cheaper than than it should be um really weird um i wanted this bag pre-loved but i viewed i went to a few um designer outlets and viewed them i also checked online but the nothing that i saw pre-loved kind of caught my eye and i also felt that i wanted one that was for me i wanted to make one pre-love i wanted this bag to be buying owned and then within 20 years i'll have a pre-love bag that was like from me i hate when people make this long and they don't open the box so i'm gonna open and then i will tell you the story time while i'm opening so this is the box so basically why the box is white is because I got it in France in October and I got it from the Corbonne store, if I'm pronouncing that right. That's a flagship store in Paris. So basically I knew I wanted to go to Paris and do my solo trip. So what I did was a website, um, went to the store detail and I called them and said, look, I'm coming. I'm interested in these pieces. Do you have it? Can I come on this day? So they said they were going to get a personal shopper to get in touch with me and... From then, like, I could speak to them about what I want. So, I think that was a week before I left. And I think, um, like, three days before I travelled, somebody got in touch with me and I told them what I wanted. I think, initially, I was looking for a chevron bag. Um, if you guys don't know, insert a photo. 
because I feel like that's a little bit different, but I know it's also very seasonal. It's not something that comes out all the time. Um, and I wanted something just a little bit different than the norm quilted um, look. But they said they don't have any anywhere. Um, and they've checked all of the stores in France and in and around Europe. And they just didn't have any chevron detailed bags. So I was like, alright, cool. Okay, fine. I will just go for what I went for. So I'm going to change the camera around and we do the unboxing. Um... This is a true unboxing because from I saw the bag in store and they wrapped it up and put it in the box. I've not looked at it since. And that's because obviously I've been waiting. I've been waiting for you guys. So um just moving some stuff around to move this flower over a bit. And yeah. So I'm gonna turn you guys that way and we're gonna go down. I think you guys can see it. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? You move my chair over on this top so let's move that a little bit more so this is the camellia maybe i don't need to touch that it's just yeah, oh, yeah. As you can see, it said Paris 31 Rue Carbon. So it has the place that I bought it there. And also, I felt like I've always wanted to get a Chanel from Paris. Like, that's literally the penultimate store to get a Chanel bag from. So why not travel and get one of my dreams? dream bag let me try to do this on the table get one of my dream bags from the store okay so let me take it out of the box I feel like there's a lot of stuff so it has that this see if I can do this nice and neat No, I couldn't do it nice to me. Mm. I try. I'm try. Let's put it back in. It's on a lot of stuff. So obviously, if I'm using this, you know, the classic flap. Um, I'm sure you guys must have seen already, but it comes with like a care booklet and um the cleaning the cleaning cloth the cleaning cloth the this is the care book it's key card and this is the manual so all the other things that come with um and it's on like a little like tissue paper with chanel written all over it i don't know if you can see it in this light but it has like chanel detail written all over it and um, let's get into the bag yeah let's Pop this box away for a minute. Yo. Put it over here. So this is the back and it is the classic flap in the medium. This is a classic flap in the medium in caviar um, leather. So for me, um, I'm sure my Chanel 19 is in the um, lamb skin leather, I'm sure. Although sometimes it doesn't feel like that. But when I bought it, 
or it could have been goat skin i'm sure it was lamb skin that's what the person who sold it to me told me and i absolutely love that on that bag but i felt that this is going to be my new evelyn bag this is what i'm going to take out whenever i'm going out and the lamb skin does look quite lovely but this one is something a little bit more hard wearing for night out as you can see this is quite shiny and the lamb skin isn't as much but um i felt that with a lamb skin i'd prefer to have that in um like the square or the rectangular shape something smaller smaller surface area meaning hopefully less damage to the skin of the um the bag so not to say i won't look after this one per se but i just want to make sure that whenever i'm going out and stuff i don't let me just see i want this in my face um whenever i'm going out and stuff i don't need to feel like oh my god like i have to baby it and i know a lot of people say you don't really have to baby it but um for me personally i just feel like um i don't want to have to maybe not ever i don't want to have to so this is the chanel um classic flap and it has that little zip there you guys have probably seen this a million at one time i'm sure and then this is the heart <laughs> so with this one because i bought it it doesn't come with um a card anymore so it comes with um it comes with the plate the plaque on the inside instead of a card so this is what the bag looks like on the inside um it has like the lipstick bit there and two side pockets there because i have my nails on i don't want to scratch it so i'm just pointing um, it also has a little pocket here that you can put stuff inside so probably you can slip your phone in or something like that has a two button there obviously you still have the plastic on it which i will take off i just don't want to scratch it with my nails so find a way to take that off um, better and it also has a back pocket um, i think this is called the mona lisa back pocket which goes in there so obviously I want to protect this bag as much as I can. So I also bought an insert for it. And the insert I got for it, move these around a little bit. Can you look at the bag a bit eye candy while I get the insert? I'll move these over. So the insert I got was from um, Handbag Angels. So it came in this little box here. Nothing else written on it apart from the sticker that says Handbag Angels. Um, and when you open it up, it comes like this. There's loads of colours that you can choose from. But I just decided to get the colour of the inside of the bag. I'm not really fussed. It comes like cutely wrapped with a tag and everything. Um, usually I get my stuff from Etsy um, or stuff like that. But I felt like they're really expensive on Etsy. Um, so... I opted for this version instead. Um, this is not the first time I've used them actually. I bought them, I bought from them before and it was, it was good. So I said, why not try again? So this is the insert, it has a little logo on there and it has like a pocket at the front. I'm guessing that's the front and then two pockets at the back. So let's pop it in and see if it fits. How can I do this so you can see? I really don't want to scratch this back. Yeah, in? And it gets the shape of the bag, it actually fits okay. So, at least that will protect the line, the inside of the bag. Um, it comes up to just over the plaque where the plaque is. Now the back it covers the back pockets, but I probably wouldn't use those anyways. Um, and yeah, that is it for the back. Um, super, super duper excited for this bag to be a part of my collection. As I said, it's a bag I've wanted for quite a long time. And... Um, now to join the fam so as i said um i want to expand my chanel collection but the bags are so expensive i'll just have to save up and probably get one once a year um 
because they're not cheap and especially the classic range it just the price increase is getting crazy and by the way i think one of the main reasons why i got this in france since brexit is better to actually buy your bags in europe because you can get your vat back so maybe another year or two and i'm interested in getting another one i'll probably do it that way because it worked out a little bit cheaper getting it abroad than buying it in the uk because of those purposes so um, any more of the classic range that I want to buy I think that's how I'd buy it um moving forward um but for now as I said I'm not interested in any of that this is a lot of money I need some time to recuperate <laughs> so give me a year or two maybe three <laughs> these bags aren't cheap you have to save a lot um and thank god that there wasn't a lot going on this year I haven't done any travels apart from my Paris trip so stuff that I'd use for travel um money that I put to have travel and stuff and additional money I literally just put everything together I really did a lot of saving although I did buy a lot of stuff this year I did save a lot as well so the plan is to even be tighter in 2022 because I have other um things that I need to achieve as well so um bags might not be the top priority but obviously I'm still going to keep saving it's not how quickly you get there it's just you know that you get there and if it's something that I love I don't care if I get it next year the year after the year after as long as I get it to use in my lifetime I'll be happy so um enough of the rambling so this is my new bay I did present to myself and I cannot wait to start wearing it so I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing so extremely happy it looks those are my two items that i got for my birthday i do have more stuff that i've got for my birthday because obviously this was back in october so i bought a few few more things for myself not a lot because obviously this was very very expensive so um those are open on my birthday so um yeah i'll catch you guys tomorrow um hopefully i'll vlog more tomorrow i've been a bit lazy today i'm not gonna lie but at least you got an unboxing so i'll catch you guys tomorrow Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it.